So yeah, I suppose the thing with celebrity portraiture or, or working with celebrities is, is, is that you're, um, often I say to people, you're kind of 80% logistics and then there's like 20% photography at the end. Uh, sometimes, um, you know, the celebrity will arrive and be like, oh, uh, you know, uh, we've got to be out of here in 20 minutes instead of 40 minutes. So you're crafting, I guess you're crafting an image, bringing all of your technical skills together, um, but you're able to sort of speed those up and work very quickly. Sometimes the celebrity celebrity might say, hey, I love all this studio backgrounds, the red background and the blue background, but let's not do any of that. Let's just go up onto the roof. So it's a question of pulling the cable out of the camera and running up, putting a card in and then running upstairs onto the windy rooftop because that's what the celebrity wanted to try, you know, and we end up getting some great shots, but that wasn't necessarily part of the plan. So as a portrait photographer, um, really, um, but one that does celebrities, you're having to be used, used to sort of moving really quickly and adapting and changing. Sometimes I'm doing my edit at the end of the shoot thinking this wasn't at all what we planned for but actually we ended up getting some great shots because you were jumping in the rain on a rooftop or whatever you might have been doing uh, and even though that wasn't part of the brief um, you know we, we, we got a great result so we're having to adapt and, and twist and turn quite a lot I guess regular portrait photography um, you know you still really need to be engaging with your subject it's so much about people you know I, I think um, a, again a lot of what I do is, is people um, just being put at ease people understanding that kind of working with me and the kind of team that, that they're going to be uh, you know that, that, that they're kind of looked after I guess and also they understand that we're in control that's another big thing they want to know they want to sense that we've got a big game plan here and everything is sorted out and as soon as they realize that they you see their shoulders go down a bit they're like this guy sounds like he knows what he's doing so I think yeah I think that's a big part of it as well.